That was the screening of Story of My Death. I think it was okay, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Was it a good Q&A? Yeah, it's okay, it's short. So yeah. You have to talk very quickly and I don't know, it's just a little bit strange. It's always a stress, no? When you do Q&As and you only have 10 minutes or 15 minutes and you know, mm. you don't know what to say because there is so much things to say, so much subjects. And what was it like doing a Q&A last night for Mark's, Mark's film? It was okay, I like, I like the place, you yeah. know, it was real underground. <laughs> I prefer at the beginning there was only one, one, one gal, yeah. Yeah. so I said it will be perfect, just one person here, but then uh, people arrive and... But it, I really love that because it's, you know, always underground things are better, mm. you know, it's where real and beautiful things are born, so mm. I was I was born also from, I come from nowhere, I was born like trees, mm. like, uh, I don't know, yeah, like trees from the underground, so for me it's natural. Where, what, what specific uh, place are you from? I am from, it's a small town in the countryside in the north north of Barcelona, going mm. to the border of France. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a small village, well, not so small, it's 15,000 people. Near to the, what is a place where is the Dali's Museum. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, we are already recording. Right? Yeah, absolutely, oh, okay. but it's fine, why not? What's the name? Sure. What's the name uh, of the Banyolas. Well, it's right on B, uh, A, N, uh, Y, O, L, A, E, S. Huh. And it's, uh, well, it's a place. I was born there, and all, almost all the people that was with me are from this yeah, city, yeah. so I get, I, I am used to what I, you said before, to, Is that you know, create things with just people it's around me, and uh, it's easy for me. Well, I don't know, I, I, I will never, I will never, I won't, I will never do it in another way, I mean, mm. I don't. Is that uh, the basis for Crespia? Is that, was that kind of based on that, yeah. that place? Yeah. Yeah. It's, but at that time we didn't have any kind of, uh, I don't know, artistic ambition or aesthetic, you know, yeah. conscious. We are not self-conscious of the aesthetic value of our, it was just for fun. But it was okay because it was at the beginning of the digital, yep. so we realized that it could be done in our way, you know, in a domestic environment, I mean, with the computers and with all these things, now it's, you know, it's every day's uh, bread, no? Mm. But uh, at that time, you know, there was, at the beginning, the hardest can, so it was, this was the, would give the, you know, the possibility, really, we, we realized that, it, or I realized it could be possible, you can do it on your own, you can do whatever you want, and with really more artistic ambition. Mm. But you can do it. You don't need to wait somebody else to, to give you permission or to, uh, you know, you mm. do, just do it. And it was beautiful. Because, for, uh, because, you know, with my way of, with my way of working, you, people sometimes compare, said, ah, it was like in the 60s, blah, blah, blah. But with my way of working in the 60s, it would be impossible, even with 16, millimeters, mm -hmm. you know, it's, you know, I have to shoot 400 hours, it will be very expensive. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's the only way I really can uh, work, it, uh, it came with the digital. Without the digital, I, I will never have been filmmaker. Mm. Because, you know, you should be more conventional and the way you work and the final film. It, you know, should be always, not more conventional, but less precise and, you know, more, less deep, more schematic. And, but here, when you have digital things, uh, you can really work in, a, in your own way. It's interesting because I never found the, the perfect camera for me. Mm. Now I have the idea, 
to, to even create a camera that would be just people know from Aton, you know, the French company mm. that creates some cameras in the past just for the, you know, that some filmmakers, you know, had the perfect, uh, the perfect uh, camera to use. And uh, I don't know, in this film I use a lot, a lot of cameras. Uh, we are using at the end, we were 12 in the shooting. Mm. There was this two of these 5D, well, not this one, but the yeah. one, the 5D. There was two, two Panasonic, uh, four Panasonic, two P2, and two new P2 but full frame that I don't like it. Yeah. Then it was two Alexas, and then there was two, two Sony. Mm. I don't remember which. You know, which well, and this was a mess, but none, I didn't found the, the, the real camera because I have problems. It should be, it shouldn't be full frame. That's uh, definitely okay. But nowadays it should have some kind of, you know, a little bit of HD definition because if not, it's uh, every day, it's more difficult to, you know, to shoot some films and to sell it to TV or, you don't have this HD quality. Mm. What was easy in the past what was was very easy, but now as everybody is, has get used to the ultra definition of everything, you know, when you show something that it's not in this in this field with a uh, TV, you say, oh, what is this? It looked like, you know. But okay, so well, let's put it this way: a little bit, not, not full HD, but perhaps HD or full HD. I don't know. Then it shouldn't be a small and without cinema optics. Mm. This is very important. Should be with the digital optics, mm. because with, uh, you know that the distance with cinema optics is, you know, it's less than a half shorter. I mean, if you have a camera at Alexa with cinema optics, if you want to make a shoot of you like this, you have to be, the camera has to be here, mm. or here, I don't know. But with the digital, you can put the camera for there with the same zoom, mm. the distance is the, the double. So. At the beginning, I used Alexa. What was the look? What was okay, but uh, it was a little bit typical, you know, you know, like cinema style. But well, not bad. Okay, you can work on that. And but you have to be. Well, it has one problem that I discovered. Perhaps I am the only one who discovered this before shooting because it's not a camera thinker for people who who shoot in digital. Mm. It's a camera thinker for people who shoot in 35, yeah. that simply, you know, use another camera. But you know all the, because you know all the things about the digital, it's that, well, to take profit of the digital, it means that you don't have to think the, the film in shots, mm. because you think in film in the scenes, or even you can have the, the whole concept of the film in your mind and just do it, like here. You know, we can shoot this interview, 190 minutes, and could be a film, you yeah. know, because we have the camera and we don't have to cut, and you know, and it's perfect. I mean, so you have to take profit and the wall for a, for a real digital uh, film-minded filmmaker, it's the, you know, it's the world. It's everything that it's 300, see, 360 degrees, you know, around mm -hmm. you because you have a small camera and you make this, this, the focus is dizzy and you don't have to prepare shots. Yeah. I mean, in the classical sense, you don't have to think the film in shots. You can think it, well, I always think in a scene, a, a scene, you know, mm. because I think I will do this a scene and well, keep on. So, but this, uh, with the Alexa, we had one problem that the Alexa, what is completely ridiculous, I don't know now, but two years ago, that has two slots, you know, to put two cars.